Wouldn't it be great that you can show and, and show your information on the bar charts and other types of charts in Microsoft Excel? For example, in this chart, I only want to see my actual expenses and planned expenses, and I don't want to see the cumulative expenses. In other case, someone else wants to see only the cumulative expenses, not the actual expenses and not the planned expenses. Or maybe there is a lot of information represented in your graph and someone wants to see only the planned expenses for each date. There are a number of methods that you can prepare such diagrams in Microsoft Excel. I will show you one today. In order to create a diagram like that, I have copied the information from sheet 1 here to sheet 2. These up in here are called buttons. You can have access to them from Developer tab. The Developer tab appears up here. If you can see it, there are two methods that you can read the Developer tab. First, come to File, go to Options, go to Customize Ribbon, and in here, tick mark the Developer tab. If it's unticked, it won't appear, for example, see, it will disappear from here. Next method, right click here, customize the ribbon, go and tick mark the developer tab. Click OK, it will appear in here. Click on developer, go to insert, from form controls, select the checkbox. Draw the checkbox anywhere you want, and next thing is, Connect it with the cell from right click format control. Any cell that you want, I will connect it to cell E1. Okay. If I tick it, true will appear. If I uncheck it, it will become false. So this is how the checkbox works. Let's copy and have a number of this. Three, one, one for our planned expenses, another for actual expenses, another for cumulative expenses. Okay, now I will copy the names of different types of expenses and paste them here. So the first checkbox, checkbox number one, we will connect it to E1 and we will rename it to planned expenses. Checkbox number two, we will link it to actual expenses. It will be F1. Please remember that, that we are connecting the checkboxes to a cell above the name of the type of expense. I will tell you the logic later and you will understand yourself. So I will connect it to actual expenses. It will be F1. Okay. I will rename it to actual expenses. You can right click, go to edit text. And then delete this and write actual expenses. Next one is checkbox number four. Let's connect this to format control connected to G1, which is the cumulative costs. And click OK. Let's rename it to cumulative costs okay so if I uncheck it it will be false if I uncheck it and check it and recheck check check okay next now I will first let's create a let's create the borders here let's go to home let's create the Orders. I will use an F function here. For example, if this cell equals to true, then show me the value of the planned expenses here. If not, write down not applicable. Just remember, if you drag this value down, and don't lock the 
value for the row, the values will move down and the right, uh, um, the right type of uh, output will not appear. So let's close this with the dollar sign. Let's enter. Since it's true, it will appear 120. Let's uncheck it. It will show not applicable. Let's do it for all the other cells. Same formula. Let's change it to uh, currency and let's decrease the decimals to center, center, center. Yeah, so here it is. For example, if I uncheck the actual expenses, they will all change to not applicable. Cumulative expenses, not applicable. Planned expenses, not applicable. If I check them again, they will start working. Next thing, now let's create a chart for this. Go to insert a chart like this. A chart like this. You want to create a chart like this for that. For this purpose, we go to insert, go to columns, to the chart. The data is not selected. I will right click and select the data. Add, the first one will be the planned expenses. I will write down the planned expenses. The series values will be from here up to here. Okay, and the horizontal axis will be these dates. Okay. Next, I want to add the actual expenses. The name will be actual expenses. The series values will be from here up to here. Click it. Okay. The x bar, the x axis will be these values. Okay, and let's add the cumulative one. We'll call it the cumulative expenses on that specific date. Then let's select the values for that. And okay, let's select the x axis. Let's click okay for this as well. Okay, so let's recheck that whether our buttons work. Let's uncheck the cumulative costs. It will disappear. Plant costs disappear. So it works. First of all, let's move the planned expenses and actual expenses to the secondary axis. Let's select the planned expenses, right click, go to format data series, go to secondary axis, OK. Right click on the cumulative cost, change series type, and select the line. OK, let's move the legends to the bottom of the table. Let's add a, a chart title. Right click on this button, bring it down here. As you can see, the button goes behind the chart. So in here, what we have to do is click the chart, go to format, and let's send it to backward. Let's send it backward. And as you can see, the button appears here. Let's drag, drag the other buttons here too. So here is how it works. For example, I don't want to see the planned expenses and I don't want to see the actual expenses. I only want to see the cumulative expenses over the time. And I only want to see the actual expenses, not the cumulative and not the planned. Thank you for watching. If you like the contents in this video, Please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. Thank you very much for watching.